Hello guys, my name is Sigurd. No, my name is Rain. God, I gotta get used to that. And I want to see what happens. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? Good question. I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Wait, what? Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? Oh, she, she's going to remember? Oh, God. She, she was threatening Tyler. <sighs> But Tyler confessed. He he went to fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. No, no, no. no. How? How could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> We should have told the truth. <laughs> Must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. They pretty much just bottled it up. And that's what you shouldn't do. And now it's all I can think about. If you have problems, talk about it. Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you, too. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Relieved, actually. And really tired. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. 
her, her death really shook him up. It was something with his wife. He was over at house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. But that's something Are to... Are you sure that's a good idea? Think it up. You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. Good that you finally understand that, too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Okay, now we're getting some info. Now we're starting to go somewhere. Now we're starting to ask the right questions. Ah, oh, this makes me all excited. Even though this scene was super sad. Okay. You can do this. Oh god, it is really laggy around here. I need a new graphic card. You don't mind just Damn handing it. me over 3090? Those sounds sound haunted. Okay, I, I'm gonna go to the left first. But of course, nothing over here. Okay, and why is there smoke, steam, whatever coming out of that barn? Do I want to go back there? I probably can't even go in here, so let's do whatever Good. we can do here. He's here. Ah, Sam, hi. Ooh. Out of Orber. Uh, or Orber. Order, go around. Oh, the surprise looks so beautiful. What? Don't worry about it. Sam is a nice dude. Too fucking beautiful. Damn, boy. All right. Let's do this. I'm ready. Oh no, I have to do it. Okay. Family's family. Fuck it. I already got the lifters in there. Damn it. Is it just me or does he sound really drunk? Some thread sealant. <laughs> Bananas are bad luck on boat. If on shore or split. Okay. Hello. Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What's that? <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh... Did you need something? Um, give me a second. I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. <laughs> yeah. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but we sure as hell are going there. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. What's that? That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to, uh, dry out a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems sensible. No bananas on board? Really? <laughs> Damn right. It's not just superstition. 
This one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. <laughs> I'm listening. Boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. <laughs> so you blamed the banana and not the fact that you had a brand new crewman? Bananas are bad luck, sure as hell. Every single time I throw a banana off board, the fish start biting. All right, if you say so. Uh, where's your brother? Uh, I'm not too sure what I... Nah, fuck. We had a fight. Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Well, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. Right up. Right up till the end. What's that supposed to mean? I shouldn't ask. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Will we need it? Apparently not. Take? Why? I guess we'll need it later. I have no idea what that is, but, but okay. All right, uh, time to talk to Sam. Good. Now well, let's see. Should be just about. Uh -huh. Pass me that wrench, will ya? Um, Sam, Edison? are you our father? Well, that, that was straight up front. <laughs> Yikes. Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Cut straight to the point. <laughs> well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? Well, I'm sorry. No, I... but she's not. Uh, he's but not. The man you're looking for. It's not me. He ain't me. Anymore, or it is in fact not you. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. Which is true. Uh, uh, you can't just point fingers at him and say that he's lying. That's just rude. Come with arguments. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Ouch. Come with me. I want to show you something. I believed him that he was telling the truth. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? <laughs> He's on the fritz. Oh. Come over here. 
here. Sit with me. Looking sharp, first mate Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... A long time ago. <laughs> no beard. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh... I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's... It's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Nice. Place your bay. <laughs> Open. That's great. Much better. I really don't want to look at that laptop. Hey, come have a look. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. At least the pictures are good. That's going to attract a few people. Here aboard Captain Saves Crew Members. Ooh, Samuel Kempsey, the 29 year old captain of the Anya Kchak. Rose didn't think twice before jumping into the ice-cold choppy waters of Mitchell Point to save members of his crew after their vessel capsized off the coast of Juneau, Alaska. Ooh. Love this picture, your mama. Ooh. Right, he's the bear. That's a very high quality model of paper. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Yep. Are you watching The Ring or what? Dad, talk to mom and she said you were having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough to put some food in the fridge. Call me Richard. Hey, come have a look. Yeah, in a second. A recipe, okay. All What's right. All this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Oh God, that's a lot of stuff. Your mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. That reminds me of the game Shipcraft and Crew. Swords and schemes. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. <laughs> Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. <laughs> What's that? Happy birthday card. From Marianne. Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20 or 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out there without you, so thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget, the Anya Shack Rose will always be seaworthy. It just might look a bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend. That's nice. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juneau. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Yo. Now the card from Mary M. Dear Sam, I'm writing from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juneau. And you were right. The kids loved the whale mirror. Our other favorite was the raven mirror at City Hall. Today we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. 
Kids wanted to hike the trail, but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glacier still looks like what's on the other side. No hope. Hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load, Marianne. She really liked him. And of course, the other way around. Alright. <laughs> Look at these ones. Uh, just making sure I don't miss anything. She looks happy. Mm. She was. Who took those? When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really going to go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that... It's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. There's Sorry. tension growing. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. Ouch. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, she has having none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think... I think about that... a lot. <laughs> gotta... Remember. fell asleep, right? Pretty sure he just fell asleep. So that's where the box is, from the trailer. <laughs> I still can't get over that, how she just went up to him. He was like, pass me the wrench. And she was like, We your father. <laughs> I was like, what? Now, if you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you. Oh, he's still here. And he's, or again, and he's trying hey, to remember it. Tyler? 
I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, Whoa. no, you're not. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. He's trying to remember all by himself. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? <laughs> hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. <laughs> you can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Reminds me Is that of everything Edison's you need, by the way. Dream. Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing, and you know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So, did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh... Hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel him in. What? I didn't read that. Reel the line before. What? Come on. Pull up on the rod. Uh. Reel him in. Complete the circle to catch the fish. That's now give it a nice pull. Eh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> effort <laughs> sound. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. <laughs> you have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez. You don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier. I'm a very serious man. 
so ice fishing. I mean, yeah. What isn't there to like about standing in the middle of a frozen lake? All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 stay in the blue zone. Stay in the blue. I think it can just hold. Yeah, okay, that's easy. Eh, yeah, stay in the blue zone. Stay in the blue zone. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> that looks so weird. Whatever. Okay. 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 <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, nice job. So you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. <laughs> For now. We'll see where this goes. So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person. You know that? <laughs> you betcha. So, what are you gonna make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts... Just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. Partner in crime? As long as you're my partner in time. Works for me, partner. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I don't think that they're too different. They act, they're act, they go great together. Well, you know what I mean? Not in that way. But, uh, yeah, as brothers and sisters. <laughs> I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. Nah, that's a weird thing to say. Yikes, no. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live. Out here? You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me, too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Mm. Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. This is going to be hard. We're we going to be a very... Oh, no. It's still doable. But we have to do it five times. One, two. Okay, maybe only three times in this case. Mm, easy. Nice. Oh. Whoa. Bam. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Why? Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. 
Yeah, that that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth the chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. You're missing the show. The golden hour? Or what? Uh. Uh, this is awkward. For me. Whatever. You okay? <laughs> no. colors trying to avoid what just happened <laughs> stop it right there I may seem like I'm totally awkward with that um, I'm not into that but I don't care if anyone here is gay or not so don't feel offended if you see me like totally awkward and stuff like that I have no problem with people being gay and stuff it's just really awkward for me but that's fine. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do that. And if you didn't, do that, I guess. And write down in the comments below like, why I didn't like it. Because well, I want to improve my videos. And if you want to see more, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!